that is a really great idea to talk over you know with the seller and hopefully negotiate in especially if you see the comps they've provided maybe don't support the price that they're going to list it at this is davy's doghouse if you're a home seller or soon to be one we'll throw you a bone hey everybody dave foster here fontaine family real estate leader I'm a full-time professional realtor in the state of maine and i help my clients sell for a lot of money using video first marketing and today on Davy's Doghouse podcast, we're back in Auburn at the office, and uh, something happened on a recent listing of mine where I got a um, offer and a good offer with a contingent on the home sale of a property that the buyer has. And this has happened, I think, three or four times now this year, successfully in, in every uh, one of them. Um, but I thought it'd be nice to talk about what that means because in the past few years, because of COVID, people weren't accepting those kinds of offers, but now they're coming back. So from a seller's perspective, this might be a good opportunity for you to understand what a sale of home contingency means and what a good agent will do to help you work through that if that comes up in your sale. So today I'm with Sierra Lemieux again. Um, Sierra's great on these podcasts. She's very knowledgeable about these types of um, uh, situations that come up. And so Sierra, I just wanted to talk a little bit about like, there are a couple things. One is you get an offer with a sale of home, a uh, contingency. contingency. Thank yeah. you. And then, what do you do? Um, so, what does that mean to the seller? How do you explain that to the seller when that comes up on an offer? Yeah. So we go through the addendum. Usually, there's an addendum, or there's two that uh, a home sale contingency can come with. So there's one where. Um, it's um, contingent on the home sale of the property not under contract and it's usually not listed by then um, and then we have the other addendum where it's contingent on the sale of the home but the home is already under contract and so which one does the seller want and the i know home. the answer to this <laughs> already <laughs> under contract yeah, so they yeah. want it they want to know that the home that the buyer is selling is already under contract yep because there's okay. usually a pretty clear closing date um, and they already they've gotten the price that they need they mm -hmm. know what they're going to be getting from their property and yeah it's a much more clear okay. deal in that situation so even in that situation though where it is under contract there are a couple of unknowns right yeah like are they asking the right price or did they get the i guess if it's under contract it doesn't really matter because they know that they're under contract but will they have the money when they close to pay for the new house the one that you're selling right. that's one thing that yep. you might want to explore so i guess when you get the contingency where their home is already under contract the biggest question is how far are they into that mm -hmm. did they just go under contract mm -hmm. have they gotten through inspections have they gotten through the appraisal um, because those are the big pieces that likely would make their home fall through the buyer's home fall through mm -hmm. if they haven't gotten through those contingencies yet. Okay. So, and also, I guess another one would be whether the buyer of their home might be on a contingency yeah. with another buyer, yep. which has happened, I'm sure to you, it just happened to me. There were yep. like three stacked up in a row that all of them had to close properly to have my sellers close their home. Yeah, I haven't have had, had that. that Not in a while, might yeah. have just been, um, actually I had the buyer. Yeah. I had somebody selling their home and buying and we had offers, you know, we made offers contingent on the sale of their okay. home. So I've had both um, situations. Both of those were, we already had their home under contract. Okay. Yeah. So we know we want a sale of home addendum with the home under contract. Yeah. The other sale of home addendum that you just mentioned is the sale of home, is the sale of home when not under contract. Right. Yeah. So if we get that kind of addendum along with the purchase and sale agreement, Yeah. What do you want to do with that home? What kinds There's of vetting do you so do? There's so much to know. Yeah. yeah. So if their property <clears throat> is not under contract, they um, they do list in the addendum the address that they their home that they do need to put on the market. Mm -hmm. um, so first, just looking that up and, and checking it out on Google Maps. Mm -hmm. um, but asking the buyer's agent some really important questions. Um, you know, what price are they going to list their home at? Um, have they pulled comps and are they willing to share the comps that they've pulled for the price that they've come up with? Which would support the price they came up with. Yeah, yep. yep. Their marketing plan. Mm -hmm. um, in the addendum, it says how many days they would need to put it on the market. So that's already spelled out. Mm -hmm. um, and if the buyer doesn't get the price that they need or that they're going to list it for, can they still buy your the seller's home? Right. 
Like, right. do they have enough equity to take less if they need to? Right. And so that was one of the things that um, uh, came up in my mind, I think, a little bit was, well, can you, at this point, as a seller, you're talking to a buyer who's got a home to sell that's not on the market. You, you need to know if that agent knows what they're doing, right? Yeah. Do they know how yep. to market it? Do they have the right price? Yep. What about um, a, a um, step plan to lower the price? So right. of the that buyer's house, could you can you negotiate that? Yeah, that's a great, I haven't had that yet, but mm -hmm. that is a really great idea to talk over, you know, with the seller and hopefully negotiate in, especially if you see the comps they've provided maybe don't support the price that they're going to list it at. Right. Um, or maybe it's like right at the top. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, try to negotiate and, you know, buyer to reduce the price by 5000 per week if the property doesn't sell after the right. first. So, so their offer whatever. comes in and it doesn't have that that information in it potentially. Right. You could go back as, as this for your on the behalf of your sellers and say, we'll take your offer, but we want you to mark this down ten thousand dollars a week for the next four weeks yep. until it's sold yeah they then can say yes or no to that right but if they want your house they're going to say yes we'll do that yeah and you can give them reasons obviously and sometimes we have to help a, a buyer agent out we may be working with somebody who may not be as experienced so we can help them to understand the psychological process of getting to the yeah. closing table and that yep. might be stepping down the price right yep. nobody yep. likes to drop the price on their home once it's on the market, because it, to a seller, it almost feels like you're taking money out of their pocket. You're losing it, right? Yeah. Yeah. But the reality is, the home isn't doesn't sell for what it's worth until you're sitting at a closing table. Yeah. Then you know all of what it's worth, and it's hard sometimes. Yeah. Okay, so you get a home not under contract. You want to vet out the um, buyer agent, make sure they know what they're doing, ask for some comps, look at the price, look at the home online to see what it. Um, well, I guess it wouldn't be online. Um, to see what kind of home it is, maybe a previous You can sale. look Google, yeah, Google previous, it, right? previous, previous sale, sale or Google, Google Maps, Earth, all yeah. of that, yeah. To, to feel confidence, you can tell your seller that they have a, the right price on this home. Yeah. And also then maybe ask them if the, you feel like that price might be a little bit high, are they willing to come down in a, you know, weekly fashion yeah. to get that house on the, the sold because yeah. you don't want your person so and they may not have even had that conversation with their exactly buyer, yeah who's that's also a seller like hey if we you know we only have this much time if we don't start to see interest or get offers we're going to have to plan to reduce the price if you wanted so right? there are a lot of things it sounds like that go into these contingencies and again if you haven't been in the market for a while um this hasn't been a big thing Right. So we would get offers, see multiple offers, 10, 20 offers in, and we would take all the ones that say contingent on the sale of a home, <laughs> and we'd put them over here. Oh, hey. And then we'd yep. look at the next offers, and we'd take the cash ones, and we might put them over here. And right. obviously, we are our job is to advise, not to decide. Right. The seller always decides, but we would be able to say, okay, here are your stronger offers, and here's why they're stronger, in our yep. opinion, in this marketplace. Let the buyer decide on what they want to do. Yep. But now, we're starting to see that contingent home yeah. on the sale of a home and apparently I've been in the business almost four years now you've been in six seven years yeah and yep and um, we haven't really seen that a lot yeah. but in the old days back in the 1900s <laughs> as Ed Getty would say um, <laughs> there was a lot of this going on most most of the offers would come in and they would have a home sale yeah. contingency so so what happens if uh, the seller is under contract with the buyer but then the seller gets an offer that's better than that buyer's offer. Yep. Do they have any opportunity to take that offer? Yeah, so when they receive a um, an offer that is c contingent on the sale of a buyer's home, not under contract, what we want to um, encourage a seller to use is a kickout clause. Um, and what that kickout clause addendum says that if, if the time period um, that the buyer has to get their home under contract, um, if another offer comes in and the seller likes that offer, it's better or they just it's a good offer and they want to move forward with it, they have the opportunity to notify the current buyer who does not have their home under contract yet um, that they're in now in a kickout situation and they have to be able to remove that contingency of having to sell their home or the seller can go with the next. Okay, um, and how offer. do they do that? So there's a form, a kickout yep. clause, and what does it say to the buyer? 
they have that, a certain amount of time yeah so or we another usually, option yeah we pick an amount of time um, when we counter offer with a kickout clause typically um, like two to four days usually see more like two days mm -hmm. 48 hours for a buyer to remove that contingency okay so but but to do to remove that they yeah. need to either come up with cash yeah financing that doesn't involve the sale of their home yep right and that's pretty much it and yep. then it's within those two days they have to prove to the seller that they can buy their home without the sale of their home yep. then they can stay under contract yep. if not the buy the seller can kick them out yep. so sellers get ready the market is definitely changing it's uh, the end of September 2023 um, we're noticing more markdowns uh, we're noticing lower appraisals yep. so we're, we're going under contract but the appraisals coming in lower um, we're seeing a lot of home sale contingencies and other buyer related items that the buyers are, are definitely gaining more steam in this marketplace. Yep. What else? Anything else? That was it. All right. Well, I really appreciate it. Um, Sierra is uh, very busy um, as we all are at Fontaine, I think, this time of year coming up into the last quarter. Um, so if you guys have any questions about, you know, the selling process, this podcast is obviously focused on sellers uh, let us know and our contact information will be at the end of this um, also if you want to um, hit the subscribe button on the channel see more of these uh, podcasts and if you're listening on the podcast thank you very much and uh, yeah we hope you all have a great day and don't forget today's the day don't dog it don't dog it <laughs>